Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Recon 6, a new 6 inch long range quadcopter by Recon FPV, a company which is a result of a cooperation between AJLRC and AVC. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs, see how it compares with the Recon 5 and Recon 4 long range quadcopters by Recon FPV, give you my feedback after testing it out, perform an endurance test using a lithium-ion battery and show you some flight footage. In terms of packaging, inside the box along with the Recon 6 quadcopter, which is available in both analog and digital versions and with multiple ready receiver options, you can find some Recon FPV stickers, two sets of Gemfin Hurricane 6026 by Bladed Propellers, two high quality Recon FPV branded battery velcro straps, two carbon fiber supporting arms, spare screws, the wiring diagram of the Zeus F722 mini flight controller, a 3D printed naked GoPro camera mount and accessories for securing it on top of the frame. In terms of specs, just like the Recon 5 and Recon 4, the Recon 6 features the AJLRC Zeus F728 20x20mm stack which is based on an F7 flight controller and the 28A BLLES 4-in-1 ESC. The digital version is bundled with the Cadex Nebula Nano V2 digital transmission system and the analog version, which is the one that I'm testing in this video, is bundled with the Cadex Rattel 2 micro-sized FPV camera and the AJLRC Zeus, a 40 channels VTX that supports RST trim protocol, has a maximum output power of 800 milliwatts and features an MM6 antenna connector. The analog version is bundled with the 15cm long RCP SMA version of the AJRC Hammer antenna. On the back of the quadcopter, mounted inside 3D printed TPU parts, you can find the AJRC M8 GPS unit and a self powered buzzer. An Immortal T antenna can be mounted in the following manner using this provided accessory. It is using an XT60 battery connector and the battery is intended to be mounted on the top plate. A connector for powering a naked GoPro camera is pre-soldered to the VBAT and ground pads of the flight controller and the highlight of the Recon 6 is probably these 2105.5-1500 kV motors. These quite unique motors, which by the way I'm going to bench test soon, are available separately in 2800 and 3600 kV options and they are using an M2 thread, which is a kind of in-between solution between T-mounted propellers and an M3 thread. So as you can see the propeller is well secured both using the M2 nut and using these two metal parts. You should note that since these motors are using a 2mm shaft these propellers are not very common at least at the moment of shooting this video so in case you are going to purchase this quadcopter you should consider getting some extra propellers. As for the frame its wheelbase is 242mm just like the Recon 5, the thickness of the carbon fiber arms is 4mm and the arms which are based on two separate components are secured using two crank bolts. In addition, besides the wheelbase, there is a small difference between the Recon 6 and Recon 5 frames, so the Recon 6 frame features an extra mounting hole on the center of the frame for better securing the carbon fiber parts, however there is still a degree of freedom so I recommend to use the two provided braces in order to prevent extra vibrations. As for weight, including the supporting braces, the Recon 6 weighs 248.5 grams, so it is slightly heavier than the Recon 5 and of course much heavier than the Recon 4. As for setting up the Recon 6, since it's using the same stack VTX and GPS that are used by the Recon 4, the setup procedure is identical and you can refer to my recent review of this mini long-range quadcopter. The next thing that I've done is to head outdoors and test the Recon 6 with and without a naked GoPro camera and using a 1500mAh Forest Life battery, using an 1100mAh Forest LSD battery and I also performed an endurance test using this custom Forest Lithium-Ion battery pack. Overall, after testing it out, I can tell you that pretty much as expected, the Recon 6 is more powerful than the Recon 5 and Recon 4, so it will enable you to carry a larger weight and fight stronger winds. 
As for flight efficiency, it is definitely more efficient than the Recon 5, and I'm still not 100% sure that it is more efficient than the Recon 4, because in my endurance test of the Recon 4, it actually covered a larger distance, although in both endurance tests of these quadcopters, I used the same 18650 3100 mAh 4S lithium ion battery pack, and I think that in order to maximize the total cover distance and flight time of the Recon 6, you will need to use a bigger lithium ion battery pack, for example, using 21700 lithium ion battery cells, and I plan to perform this test on an upcoming video. As for the recommended battery, for mild freestyle action and for shorter flights, I would recommend to go with the lighter 4S 1100mAh LHB battery, which should provide you with between 5 to 7 minutes of flight time, depending on how you fly, as the 1500mAh 4S LiPo battery felt a little bit too heavy, and of course, for long range flights, you should go with a lithium ion battery pack, which should provide you with between 10 to 25 minutes of flight time, depending on how you fly. Anyway, now I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos, and goodbye.